men are checking out of society and relationships. People don't go where they're unwanted and everybody always puts the blame and shame on men for everything that has gone wrong in society. A woman wants a man who is emotionally available and sensitive, but if a man expresses his sensitivity, he is told that he has a fragile ego. If a man wants to defend himself against a woman, she will shame him into being quiet by saying he's either too aggressive or he has toxic masculinity or he has, again, a fragile ego. If a woman says something offensive, she is protected. If a man says something offensive, he is canceled. It's considered sexist or misogynist to point out a woman's shortcomings and you have to walk around eggshells with them because of their sensitivity. But men get mocked, ridiculed, and disrespected in society and they're just supposed to sit back and take it. You can make fun of men all you want online, mock them, criticize them. If you do that to a woman, you'll get canceled. Men are four times more likely to commit suicide and make up of 70% of all suicides. They're also two and a half times more likely to end up homeless. Yet there are very little help centers and shelters for men. Men are four times more likely to be the victim of violent crime. They're expected to die for their country, take on the most dangerous jobs and the lowest paying jobs. Waste management, paving the roads, coal mining, and police officers who risk their lives but yet are shamed in society for being seen as a threat, saying that we don't need them and to defund them. A man will risk his life to go to war and fight for his country and come home and find out that his wife has cheated on him. This has happened a lot. And even though she cheats, she's still awarded alimony, child support, half of what he earns and half of what he has. 80% of all divorces are initiated by women and they're always awarded the financial earnings of their husbands, whether it's a home, 401k, retirement, alimony, child support. When men and women commit the same crime, men always get harsher prison sentences. Men get 60% longer prison sentences. A man named Brian Banks was falsely accused of rape, spent five years in prison. He's now a convicted sex offender. She was awarded $1.5 million, and it came out with video evidence later that she lied about it. Did she get in trouble? No. Men are blamed for the bad politics and politicians, even though women are more likely to vote. Whenever I give advice videos on what men need and what they desire in a relationship, women will respond saying, who cares about them? What about me? They have no desire for self-improvement. They just expect a man to love her no matter what, even if she's a jerk to him.